Buenos dias! Good morning, Mr. Cooper! Good morning, everyone! Hey, everybody! Good morning, it is October 21st, 2023. Welcome to CBS Saturday morning. Emergency help, breaking overnight, desperately needed aid is finally allowed into Gaza as Egypt opens its border for medicine, medical equipment, and food. We will have the latest from inside Gaza. Coming home, an American mother and her teenage daughter are released after two weeks of being held hostage by Hamas. Details on the negotiation that led to their release and the emotional reaction from their loved ones. Drinking water, disaster. Thousands of people say they are sick and angry after a fuel leak contaminated their water supply. See why it took years to address the problem. And a family summit. Meet the teenager who topped Mount Kilimanjaro all for his older sister. Hear how it helped change her life and the incredible feats her mom and grandfather did to do the same. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye opener. Anyone can do it. Even me? Sure, even me. All you need is long hair, makeup, and tight pants. And we can get that stuff right here in your mom's closet. Yeah, sure. That's right, Billy. Yeah. See, he saw the picture of you on the computer and then you would go mad when you would play basketball. And, and who else in the world does that? Her name is Mr. Big Baby Paco Derm. I want it. But she likes me bad. Besides, I already got teeth. Uh, Go downstairs. But I must finish my juice box. Gracias. Hmm. Nice. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. I think I will call you Juan and you Juanita. Yeah, I, I really um, thought that the finale was awesome. Ooh, I got everything I needed after that hug. Way to go, Eduardo! You captured the cannibal ghost! And it was the most delicious badger ever. That was amazing! Good job, Agents Puppy and Caswell! You've done tough proud! This is nice! Everyone's being super helpful today! My name isn't really Francisco, it's Francesca. My mom wanted a girl. I found some moves! My thirst isn't on the loose anymore! Woodland Valley. Oh, la, la, I am so excited. I just know that this time I am going to get Count Storm. I think I just found what I was looking for. Try taking a dip in Big Springs, little bee. I'm sure the fish there will get you clean. When there's too many fish in the lake, the crocodiles come and eat the fish. It's the circle of life at its finest. If you ask me, I think Bunga smells fine just the way he is. Yeah. And in Bunga's case, he's a stinky little honey badger. Thanks, Uncle Timon. Richie, glad to be almost alive. Really? Gracias. This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Oh yeah. Three. Fuck off. Totally. Hmm. Sportsmanship. He intentionally hit the guy, oh. basically. But there was, there was a little bad. bit of controversy about that last night. I'm just saying, scotch, scotch, scotch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying good bye, like. Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Michelle Miller, along with. My name is Eduardo. Jeff Cora and our favorite Dana Jacobs. Wow, I'm your favorite. You are today. You. This morning we're gonna, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take you inside the true story behind one of the most anticipated films of the fall. Martin Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon tells the history of the so-called reign of terror against the Osage people more than a century ago. We're gonna take you to the reservation where the film was made and hear from those who are bringing tragedy.
tragedy to life. Then we're going to dive into sneaker culture, long dominated by signature shoes from male athletes. Now things are changing with some of the hottest shoes coming from and for women. We'll look at the history and speak to one star athlete about her rising brand. Also, what happens when one of the most famous interviewers goes one on one with an expert in deception? This morning, we're going to speak with famed documentarian Errol Morris about his new film on a famed novelist, former spy, John Le Carre. Plus, he is a bold, boisterous, and wildly acclaimed chef who returned to the food he grew up with to create the restaurant of his dreams. We'll dive into some of the most incredible Italian-American comfort food with Chef Joe Isidori later on The Dish. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 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 Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Delicious carrot cake. It was so delicious. I ate the whole thing. Almost. <laughs> now it's gone. Looking forward to that. And we will wrap things up with new music from an artist with a hundred million streams and whose last album won the Canadian equivalent of a Grammy. Bahamas will perform for you right here in our Saturday session. And so much more is all ahead. Oh yeah, for sure. Me too. But we begin with this morning's top story. Breaking overnight, critically needed humanitarian aid has started rolling into Gaza. 20 trucks loaded with medicine, medical equipment, and food that have been waiting at the Rafah crossing in Egypt for days were finally allowed to cross the border.